Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to my Let's Play Series 2, episode, I believe I'm on 12, of a Gwyneth, or Gwent the Witcher card game. Okay, I'm going to practice that Hungry deck, to see how it how it feels. And also, I also want to test the, um, do you get free removes, basically, for the whole game? Only, I want to test that too. I'm probably not going to use this deck fully when I go rank, but for now... Okay, that's good, so I can... Okay, instantly I can double, or triple with him, as long as I'm at the highest. Turn on the end, you, uh, if you control fewer units, and, and he should be good, because I should be controlling fewer. Assume an allied unit on this row. So spawn a harpy. So I'm assuming he's just spawn it, surely. I think. Or it might be that death wish thing, but I've got him to trigger it, so I might just use him to trigger that. Turn damage in your right realm on one. Okay, this seems not bad. Finish. Oh, two. Okay, I did kind of want to do the withdrawal thing to test two, don't I? So. Okay, I need to do it again. Okay, that's better. I was going to keep it up there, I want to test it, so I've used two up. So I'll see if I have any next time. I got the advantage, okay. So, so I'll play. Is it you? Whenever a unit is destroyed on your turn, damage unit by one. So let's play you. And boost you so you can stay in it. And every time it's destroyed, I'm hoping this will spawn something. Hmm, we got the same thing. Trigger bronze ally, so if I play Harpy Egg. Summon it to a random ally. And if I play him, it should trigger. And that should trigger him, giving spiders too. Oh, you can play the same strategy! <laughs> what the fudge? Control for units, what I don't currently, but after I do this, I will. So. Trigger bronze, ally death wish ability. I expected him to eat that doing that, but okay. Okay, so okay, so that works too. He consumed it instead of using that to trigger it. Okay, so that works as well. So that means theoretically, if I eat it, I should get an extra one, shouldn't I? Let's see. Yes! So I can trigger it, then deploy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So he's so useless at this point, no? Okay, this actually might be quite a neat, interesting deck to play as. It's going to take a bit more thinking to use these correctly, though. Otherwise, I'm going to see this going horribly wrong and screwing it up. I just realised, whenever a unit is destroyed during your turn, damage it. Did you damage someone over here? I didn't know what you did. Spawn a base copy of this unit. Okay. And he's going to be thriving, so I could have played him a bit earlier, but. Nothing's really getting consumed for this to be activating. Oh, I'm so close. Who has the highest unit, like me still? It's technically not. Spawn four power outgrowth joints and some of them I draw. Well, he doesn't eat them. I've got a feeling if I play him, he's going to play level one and eat these. Assume an allied unit on this row. I'm going to do this and summon him. No? Assume an allied unit on this row. Oh, I have to wait a turn, okay. But it made him go up. It's horse. It's horse at somebody. Okay. This thing seems powerful. I think this is be my deck. I don't have this. On turn end, summon this unit from your graveyard to a random allied row. Where's that horse thing he's using? 
an allied unit then spawn and play a base copy of it. Oh, okay. So he gets that and play the base one so he has the next time on turn end. And get damage because I did that, spawn that, so I did spawn. I won't play anything, will I? Ten. But as soon as I play these, it's gonna go out the window. We'll get it for a turn. I don't have as many eating as I thought I would be at this stage. And technically. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Two. Yeah, so you're gonna work now. And you can only do it on this grow, so do it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Does it only do it in the top row? Random. Hopefully I can eat with these. Let's feast. People are going to come and eat them instead. Crumb, this is a full deck. I might create a new one. Mm. So he's got like unlimited lungs that the turns keep going. I think. Do I have the highest before I play you? Eight. I don't. Fudge. Okay, so if I can hold you next round, be better. Probably won't be able to, but we'll see. Sure. No problem. Okay, that's got to be enough to win. And at least I can eat a high level. Okay, eating these. Oh, he, he passed. Oh, sugar. Oops, I maybe should have played that. Oh well. Oh, this is a test game. That turned out quite nice. I like that. And they got quite a few spiders in the end. Look <laughs> at Okay, and I used everything last time, so do I have any left? No. So, but I don't really, I thought you get three, so apparently I only have two. Maybe I'll just lose one. So apparently I have two that last, and that's the only things I can use, okay. So I've got, uh, deploy, assume a unit in your hand, and draw a card, so a unit in my hand. Ooh. So if I have something rubbish, can do it. You can destroy during your turn, damage around my m &A. Deploy, boost a death, I don't have any death wishes. So, I'm going to give him this one, because I won last, and then she can, hopefully, I can pick it and I'll eat this one unless something else comes out. And it seems I don't get a finger. Oh crud, I've got him out now. That's a waste. Fudge. I had more chance of happening, didn't I? The lower gets. Turn on end, if you control fewer units on the battlefield, your opponent boosts up by one. You played first, so it might work. Things crossed. Naivety is a fool's blessing. Uh, me and Lee consume a unit from your opponent's graveyard. Range consume one from your graveyard. So now let's play him. That's to make sure gonna have have less, isn't it? So why do we need to immediately consume a unit from your opponent's graveyard? Oh, I get a pick. On turn end, this unit from your graveyard to a random ally, and that gets stopped from doing this. Okay, no, he's too tiny and that sucks. He's not getting any boost because it will tie in each round. 
Me, Link, assume a unit in your hand and draw a card. <laughs> now, yeah, he's not going to work now. Oh, well. I was hoping I could draw a pick the card, but was it wrong? Twenty fifteen. Oh, thank God. Whenever a unit is destroyed during your turn, damage a unit. And I got nothing to destroy units now, have I? I to play him now. I feel I've lost a card because of him coming out. Come to me. He's gonna win. That kind of puts a little damper. So the first round, I was like, oh, this deck's so cool. But if I can't win with it, it's like a one-round deck. Basically, eight points. That's it. He's got a thirteen. I didn't go for with in the end, did I? I came close to. Yeah, he's gonna win. That's a good one to have. But technically, oh, no matter where he went. Technically, uh, he would have been free with him. I would have had an extra card. I'm not sure when he passed before or if I played thingy that made him pass. You know when I played all three witches or if I hold that off I would have won that. But I'm thinking if I have that big bag dude in there, so he's a super strong one. Deck builder. And in general this could be a good set. Um, there he is. Why? Why can't I craft him? There they have him. Oh, he's already in my set. Oh, he was. He just never came out. I thought you already had him. Huh. Because I, I know it's me. I personal thing when I'm playing this and people's are eating and whatever and all that. It kind of throws me a little bit. So I'm also hoping for that tactic that's happening with players. Like, a little bit like the one I do, and it throws me, and hoping it works again. So, a little um, mental mind games. You know, I don't think I was eating as much as I could have done with that. Where's, oh, where's that, where, that one? So, Death Witch, on turn end, this unit from your graveyard to a random allied roll. That could be worth having. Oh, I've got something else. But if I have him, so that's a girl. Spawn a base copy of this unit, summon. Again, she was good for eating, she didn't do what she was supposed to. Uh, how much was he? 11, oh, he's a big card. That's the only one in your graveyard. Huh. So she's a good one to play the first thing, first round, or second, third round, she's probably not very good. It's one, two cows. No, I'm not going to use it, am I? Because a five. I basically threw it all to take. Um, five. Seven off. A seven. Or higher. But my sevens are my witches. If I take him out, they basically they lose their that value. Um, eight. The fact that you can pick their graveyard too, he's more useful, but it's just a bit of randomness to him. Your opponent's graveyard, assuming it's from your graveyard. Oh, he's just your graveyard. Let's do it. Get rid of him. 
and we should have them now. So on turn end, this unit from your graveyard to a random allied roll. Don't know if it's going to be good with him in there, but we'll see. We'll find out. Let me claim my world quick. Yeah. Nine. Um, I guess I keep going down the street and I've already got it. Probably gives me something extra on that. Next one. There. As soon as you grab some of these ones. I almost finished this uh, tree. So with that, we're going to end this episode. So please. Oh. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute before we end. If you want to give me extra. Two. Go first. Okay, we have to wait. Okay, so uh, like, subscribe, and good stuff. And tune in next week. This has been Avatopia saying bye for now. Everyone have a great, wonderful, amazing day. Please subscribe, please. Of course, hit the little bell and share this video. Bye, everyone.